Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Dobro pajalovat na moj kanal. So in today's video, I decided to make what they call inconclusive experiment. What does an inconclusive experiment mean? It means that I'm not trying to prove this is this and this is that. So guys, stay tuned. But first, I wanted to make this clear so that there won't be any misunderstanding from the beginning of the video. So the today's topic is all about how I'm going to be spending 1,000. Let's say I have a thousand robots in my pocket right now. I'll be sharing with you guys how I spend it. So why did I say it's inconclusive? Because everybody has different budgets, everybody has different ways of spending money. Everybody has different ways of doing their things. Depends on your salary, depends on where you are, your city. So right now, I want to go to the ATM machine to withdraw a thousand rubles, which is according to today's exchange rate, which is close to 11 to 12 dollars. So I'll be using this money and I'll be spending it and I'll let you know if I finished spending it in a day or if I didn't. I'll be doing my normal things. I'll not be better. I'll be doing it in a budgeted way so that because I know I can buy one thing for 1000 rubles and the money is finished. No, I want to just try a little experiment and hopefully you guys will enjoy the experiment. Take note, this is an inconclusive experiment, a neutral one. There is no winner, there is no better, there is no this. I'm not trying to compare American dollar because life there is quite different. With uh, in Russia, everything is quite different. So, but this is just to let you know, let the viewers decide. Okay? If you have a, a $10 note in you and you want to convert it to rubles, you get it at 870 dollars for $10. Then if you want to buy $10, you don't have dollars and you want to buy it in rubles, and you have rubles, you have to pay 89 that means 890 close to 900 to get $10. That's basically how it is. So 1,000 rubles is a little big, bigger than $10. So if you both convert it, if you're having dollar, you want to change to rubles, or you're having rubles, you want to change to dollar. Sure of no. It is a thousand dollar. A thousand rubles is higher. So I think you understand what I'm trying to say. Yeah. So guys, you see, I've made the withdrawal. I've taken the one thousand. So we are gonna see what this money can get me in today's movement. If I will come home with a balance. I will not be very expen spending too much. But I will try to see how much this will remain after today's work. So I'm in one of the suburb cities. So I have to pay to get myself to the center of Moscow. So I have to take what they call the electric train. Train, electric So I have to buy. See the amount. I need to pay to get my ticket. my ticket so now I'm heading to the station to go so now I switch to metro so I just got to the metro station and I'm going to be switching to another one so I saw this Entering, so I'm going to check out this you can see if they are still open. I mean, this uh, shopping mall called Akhotneria, and I saw this ad about a lunch break where they sell mostly the Russian food and this thing. So I decided to check it out. Maybe I can find a good deal with them there and have my lunch there straight. So I'm heading to the place, guys. Stay tuned. Guys, look at how this place looks like. I just love the design. See shops up. So beautiful, nice place. So guys, this is what I ordered. That's bad news for today. Bad news is I wanted to order for business lunch. 
and they told me it is not possible. See the way they calculated it for me. So it kind of confused people. They don't let people know which one is business launch and which one is not. Unfortunately, I paid almost 1000 for a meal that worth nothing. I could have cooked at home and enjoy a beautiful meal. But I decided to do another content right now. I decided to try another Russian food according to the way I was told to try. So they said I should start with cold food then back to the desk. It's unfortunate. So I will try this next time. What's it called? Because now I'm in minus. Because I'm minusing my transport fee. And this. There is nothing here. I won't say I was cheated. No, I wasn't cheated. So that there is a little bit of miscommunication in their menu. They will have made it known that this is what and what is sold. Yeah, they listed it, but they will have. I don't know how they will have done it. I don't want to blame anybody, but shit happened. So, Ladna, so I'll be trying another Russian food. Yeah. And today, the soup I have. So, today's soup is borscht. So, I took smetana to try it, and of course, chlev. Then, I took this olive salad and rice with this um, chicken. I don't know. I'm a little bit. Uh, I'm a little bit not uh, because the plan has just been. Mm. But we have to eat. Shit happens. Ladna. This is lemonade. Let's enjoy the meal. My plan just started. No, I did not. No, Ladna. Chop a deal. So right now, I'll be starting with this salad. Olive salad. Mostly it's, um, salad as it is in New Year period, but I also see they sell it now. So. so, postoy. I've eaten the olive salad. It tastes nice, I like it. It's one of my, it looks a little bit like the ones we do have at home. So that we do add uh, garbage, it's better. I love it. It's one of my best salad in Russia. The vinaigrette, I didn't like it well. Another one I like is Caesar. I don't know if it's Russian salad, but this one is okay. So I've taken haloni, which they say is the best way, according to the traditional Russian way. You start with the cold one, just as they are arranged. So I started with the cold one salad. So the next one is what? So, let me dive into the borscht. So this is the borscht. This is how it looks like. Not very well done, but let me see. So I was told to try with smetana, which is a sour cream. So I will try it. So does this, this, this is how it is. So I don't know if I have to twist it or not, but I think you have to turn it. So I hope I'm doing it well. So you turn it, turn it. I don't know if you have to turn it anti-clockwise or let me add another one. Oh yeah. Favorite as this is my first time. Okay. Let's make it more presentable for the camera. <laughs> So, and I have my bread. This lemonade, not compost, not uh, more than lemonade. So, I have my bread. Tastes nice. Mm -hmm. There's meat inside, beef meat. There's beef. There's kind of carrot. Mm. Tastes nice. I love it. I love it. The last video I tried um, a korshka. There's a soup called Akoshka with um, fish feed. So I was told to try it covers. Then another soup I want to try that I've tried before is a Kurine soup. So Lakshaw. It's like Kurine soup Lakshaw. Like it's a soup with this guy. What is it called? Noodles. Chicken soup with noodles. I tried that one. That was the first soup that I tried when I came to Russia. 
but this is the first time I'm trying Bosch and it tastes nice with this sour too so guys I like it mm. Yes, it tastes good. At least my mood is bad. Gosh, I don't know how to scoop up. Oh, I can carry that in. <laughs> no, I just leave it. There is no much there too. <laughs> Следующий шаг. Рис. Потом это лимона. Еще, в принципе, косарап так. No, some people spend tisic for lunch, of course, depending on where you are. But I, I never plan them. People spend 1,000 rubles like in their lunch. I never planned that. My plan was quite different. But at least this Porsche has given me hope. It has changed my mood. And then I'll go outside and buy covers. This is another thing that gives me Malinkara just with the Maladaya Jesu. Ladna. Now I'm about to eat this right. This reminds me of it looks like I was called plov. Just like there is no meat here. So it's rice with vegetables. So I'll be trying it on this. This is a chicken. Catholic. I don't know how they call it. Catholic. I need to pronounce it well. Finished everything. Come, um, the principal, just so. The foods were nice. No problem with the food. The problem is um, the plan didn't go as I wanted. Everything is tasty. Everything was cooked well. well I love this year. I finished. Just I don't know how to end the soup because at home I will have just. Ah. So you are in public. And I have this bread left in me, I'll take with me Sabon. I'll eat it outside. So basically, I say about the food, very good. No, I'm honestly saying it tastes nice. The food are very tasty, I love it. And I've heard about this mumu. They sell the good, they sell good Russian food. I'll be going outside take a walk there is a little bit noisy i don't know if you guys can hear me but i will continue the rest outside all right guys i just came out from the place behind me is a restaurant that i went to try they call mumu so let me maybe some people didn't hear me well when i was inside so what i was trying to say is that uh i saw this uh, 
advert on the way into the shopping mall so i decided to cash out because i read online that you can have it's, you can do it in any of the uh, restaurant so i went inside i started uh, checking the food i took almost everything because they mentioned the salad you have to take so i think the problem here is um there's one thing that i ordered that feed that food that i ordered she was telling me when i got to the casa she was telling me cashier i mean she was telling me this this and this it's not part of a uh, lunch break it's not part of lunch i was like seriously so i had two options i'm able to have a but as like i was like i had i was uh, i wanted to say so what next should she take it away because i look behind there is ochin ludiv ochin is that you know you know moment this is not to pass press it to touch it может быть потому что на у меня есть налички такой суммы из этого я если бы она нет я бы сразу оказался бы конечно я бы сказал нет нет ну, давайте ребята найти другой вариант but i didn't tell them i was shy a little bit so our second option was to pay which i did but why i'm a little bit angry because i planned on doing a video where i can Will I say make use of a thousand robots and see where it will take me throughout today? On a normal day, I don't spend this amount on food. Nah, nah, unless I'm trying to create a particular special content that requires me to do like the previous one I did, which was also what I say. Was so so. So that's why I'm very very mad. But I'm not. I'm okay because I've eaten, despite the fact that the plan didn't go as I wanted. But the food was tasty, everything about the food was tasty. So I was thinking maybe next time they should find a way to separate food. Or I should be the one. It's like I made a mistake. I should have been the one to ask what which of this food is business lunch. So that they won't get so I won't get this um, confusion that cost me extra 500 rubles according to what I saw on the menu. But is it, it is what it is. So now the experiment is still incomplete we'll do it next time because now i'm in mean minus <laughs> i'm in mean minus because the food is 990 and i've already spent 108 on electric car i spent 57 rubles on uh, metro and uh, i've not even gone back home so entirely gonna be like a thousand five hundred today so like minus five five hundred already so the experiment is almost so I'll just walk around here and share with you guys. I don't know if it's needed, but just to share around most of the part of Moscow. Not yeah, so how is my experience? My how did I did I enjoy the borscht with smetana with the sour sauce, sour cream? Of course I enjoyed it. I never expected that it to be like that. That was my first time of trying it out. And it tastes lovely. About the Olivier salad, that's not my first time, but they all, I always love eating it because it's, it reminds me a little bit of sal um, salad that we have at home, which we use cucumber, we use a mixture of cucumber and green pea and otters with mayonnaise. So it's a little bit better for me. Then rice, of course. I'm okay. Generally, I'm okay. I, I look like uh, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Satisfied. Not too much not too light i mean because of the soup the soup and um, rice rice is a very um, heavy food so i guess i'm okay i am not really angry no need to be angry over a spilled milk so my general review the food are um, amazing today's food that i tried all of them entered the show and it's actually but this it this it this it not this it this it is the city and it's your chotka you know what you parallel prostate sena the passion cut my plan no budget will have to go plan no it's just trash no i'll be starting from the obvious place which is the nikolai square street then i'll get myself on the other side 
So the last time I came to this particular place, I saw people dancing. So I think it's a daily routine here that people come out to practice or what? Or maybe it's a way a concert that they plan on organizing here. During the evening period, this place usually gets filled with interesting um, activities. You see different bars, restaurants, playing, playing uh, what's it called? Songs. I think if you have checked my previous video, like Moscow Night Life, you'll see a lot of people were having fun around this place. Music were booming, hitting every angle. People were having fun, but in the daytime, this is how quiet it is, especially on a Monday or working days because mostly people have to go to work to make money so that they will later come in the evening and spend it or relax so in the evening it's quite different from the daytime which is understandable this is another beautiful things that have been installed before they were covered because they were still installing them but right now they have opened it up and you can see how beautifully they are looking. The place people normally dance in the evening. The restaurant where they sell seafood. You can see the People might not know, but this is the building that is in 100 rubles, Russian 100 rubles currency, paper notes. This is the building that you see. It's called Bashoi Theater, big theater. And to get into this theater, it's quite difficult. Not that it's not possible, but it's difficult because the tickets are easily sold out. And I dreamt of one day, I dreamt one day to get into the building and watch a show or theater there. This is how the building looks like. It's very, it has a very high ceiling. In front of it is this mini garden with fountains. Of course, I know the Russians will notice. I mean, like foreigners that have been using the bills or the currency, most of them might not have known that that's the building at the back of the hundred robots. And that's how it looks like. Yeah, there is a one general one. There is a bigger one in the center, and one on the left, and one on the right. People sit here to.
spend time. And this is the street. And here they sell ice cream and cold drinks. And that building there is the state building, state house, bus dome. So I'll continue going. Why this building in front of me? It is called Zoom Central Universal Mall, or in Russia they call it Central Universal Magazine. This is where they sell mostly expensive things, such as uh, got, uh, all those designers. They sell it here, but the building is under reconstruction. That's why it's being covered like this. You see the top filled with. Uh, can you can see. Wordly written Central Universal Magazine Central Universal Shop. Very siren in Moscow. It means somebody important is in the car. Mostly, this is how the government officials are being transported around the city. They have a different convoy with security. This is how they drive with black car and a blue siren on top. So this is the other side of the hotel, hotel called uh, Marriott Gastinica. Avarel, Avoro is a very popular hotel situated in the center and on my right hand side is the general general and procureur Rasiski Federation with the building and this street it's one of the streets that I like most because of the decoration I don't know if it has been removed but it has its own it's a full design because one of the reasons it's popular too is one of the streets that most of the designers that left Russia were housing their products you can see this Russian brand called 12 stories and this one is called Mercury Mercury automatically have left Usually here there is a decoration on top that it has been removed and replaced with uh, replaced with this design. The sun is really very sunny today. That is not very vivid, I guess. So here usually was the deal. You can see the design. I don't know if. The sun is not letting it be. 